Alright, hello people. I'm the dude and this is Let's Play EverQuest. Uh, me and a buddy from my guild, this is my bard, you haven't seen my bard yet. But anyways, me and a buddy from my guild, Lurinex, are going to kill the Sleeper Tombs dragons. They are currently up. We are going to destroy them, hopefully. I do not see any, uh, foresee any problems. This is not one of the dragons I'm talking about. This is like a mini-boss. The dragons are down this hole right here, past a another mini boss, and then they're in that room down there. We're gonna go kick the crap out of them. Uh, Lurinex is a warrior. She has her cleric mark. I'm a bard, a level 70. I think I'm still 73. Oh, 74. My bad. I'm level 74 bard, and I have my cleric mark. So it's two cleric marks, a warrior, and a bard, who are gonna take on the highest end raid content for Velius, for the Velius expansion, this was the highest tier of the raid content. And these uh, ancients were, they weren't the hardest guys in the entire zone back then Kirifim was, but Kirifim doesn't spawn anymore. You can read about that if you want to, but now the highest end guys in this zone are the ancients. And we're gonna kick the crap out of them. Should be fun. This guy right here, this mini boss, he respawns like three or four times. That's why he won't die. This might be the last one, I don't remember. Ugh, got the fucking music too loud. Nope, one more. This should be the last one. Uh, since no one has actually seen my bard, this is the first time you've seen him and I haven't said anything about bards. Bards in EverQuest are really unique. They can add buffs on top of your other buffs. Also, they get to wear plate armor, so they have tons of AC. Uh, they get to dual wield, so they have decent damage, not really good damage, because their their dual wield and double attack uh, skill caps are pretty low. They're not meant to be high damage casters. They also run really fast. Whenever I put my drum on and turn my movement speed buff on, uh, Cello's Accelerating Chorus, I am like greased fucking lightning. <laughs> I'm ridiculously quick. Uh, what else? They also, they can, they can do a little bit of everything. I mean, I can mez, which basically temporarily crowd controls a mob. It just stands there and doesn't attack. I can slow them down so they don't attack as fast. Uh, I can lull them so they don't aggro from as far away. All kinds of crazy shit. Bard can do pretty much anything. Gotcha. You're on camera at the moment, by the way. Decided to record this. Yeah, uh, Lurinex is, was kind enough to come over here and help me kill the dragons. I actually tried to kill the dragons earlier. I did a test run to see if I could do it on my... Splat! On my uh, bard or my magician. I tried them both. And uh, just getting my magician down here was a pain in the ass. And uh, he probably maybe could have taken one if I'd have popped everything I have. All of my temporary buffs and all that. Hold up, I gotta type. This guy is really easy. Nothing special about him. Just kick his ass. The uh, the final arbiter. He he was kind of like the guardian to the the ancients. That's why he's guarding this door right here. But he's really not that special. Well, he's not anymore. Uh, but yeah, uh, my bard. I actually got one of the ancients, I don't remember which one, I just picked whichever one was closest in, in the room in here, and uh, I got one down to 60% health solo, with just my merc, and then my merc ran out of mana, <laughs> so I couldn't finish it. Perhaps. Uh, so yeah, I, I just solo on my level 73 bard, I got one of the ancients down to 60% health, and I was pretty happy with that. But uh, yeah, my merc ran out of mana, I ran out of of healing, basically, because my Merc had no mana, and I had to back off. And then uh, my Magician probably could have taken one of them, but he was taking centuries to get him down here. The mobs in this zone have so much health, it takes forever to kill one. So, yeah, it was, I, I gave up. It was taking forever just to get him down to this area. And uh, Magician has no way to drop aggro. My, my Monk and my Bard and my Necro can all just run down here, basically, 
dropping aggro as they go, and the mobs will just ignore them and walk away. Uh, Bard uses fading memories right here. Necro uses feign death, and Monk uses feign death, but Magician doesn't get anything like that. I can't drop aggro on him, so I have to kill everything to get down here, and it was taking just way too long. Green, she says it's a green con. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, Lurnex should be able to destroy the Ancients. It should be just pathetically easy for her. We'll see. I don't think, I don't foresee any problems with it. <laughs> Yeah, he is way too, way too big. He's just a, he's got the old golem, the old uh, Velius golem model, but he's really big. He just made him really tall. But as you can see, he's really easy. I mean, Luridix, Luridix is barely taking any damage at all. And we have double clerics at full mana. <laughs> so yeah, there's no way this guy had a chance in hell. Monster summoning three. I remember back in the day, I'm a magician. I wanted that so bad. I mean, it doesn't mean shit now. It's just vendor trash, but... Back in the day, I wanted that so bad. Is that an augment? What is that? It is. It's an augment. Or am I blind? No, man. It's a neck piece. Okay. Crappy neck piece. Neck piece. He dropped a claymore. And... All yours. Yeah, I can't even use the claymore. Not that I'd want to. Those actually aren't terrible stats. The drops in this zone, even though this is Velius, really don't have terrible stats. So here are the Ancients. Oops, I had attack on on accident. Yeah, Lurinex has never been here before. I've been here several times. This is her first time killing the Ancients. Open the door. Open the door. What are you doing? <laughs> Just stare at the gate, why don't you? Uh, let's go and kill this guy. Get him out of the way. There's uh, two prismatic servitors that just patrol this little area right here. This outer rim. And uh, they'll add on. If you're, fighting, if you're fighting the ancients and you don't take these guys out first, they'll add to the fight and be a pain in the ass. That's where Kirifim used to spawn right there, but Kirifim doesn't spawn in game anymore. They, uh, in Velia's content, she was the the biggest boss in the game, and uh, was only meant to spawn one time, uh, or was, maybe it was only meant to be killed. Yeah, it was only meant to be killed one time. These are what you needed help. With. Yes, very much. <laughs> one on each corner. They are the big bosses. I'm gonna let your uh, uh, Lurinex do most of the work. Uh, like I said, I I think I fought this one right here. To Jude, blah, 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 whatever the hell that says right there. I got him down to 60% before my Merc ran out of mana. I couldn't finish him. So with with Lurinex here, we should be able to destroy these guys. Okay. Uh, let's go fight this one. Why not? Uh, mainly the. Uh, they do get melee damage. Uh, they hit for about 500-ish. I think I think that's the highest they hit me for. They'll hit different people for differing amounts. They probably don't hit Lurinex for shit, because she probably has way higher AC than I do. But yeah, they hit for about 500-ish. Uh, the add. Added on. Forgot I, I just said it a minute ago that there was another Servitor, and I completely forgot about it. Little Servitor to get him... Uh, yeah, there's two of them, and we killed one, I forgot about the other one. But anyways, uh, yeah, they, sh they hit for about 500-ish, they do area nukes, so if you see that rain of fire falling on my head, that's the area nuke. Uh, they have, they have a couple of other buffs and debuffs, but most of it's resisted, so I can't even, see there's the area nuke right there. But, uh, I can't even tell you what most of it is, because I resist it all. I have too much, uh, resistances. I don't take any damage from any of their spells, pretty much. No problem. Uh, I'm going to take out the Servitor, which is going to take an hour. Like I said, things in this zone have ridiculous health. That's another thing they root a lot. I was probably rooted 90% of the fight when I tried to solo this dragon. Not that big a deal, though. 
I've actually, my bard has his epic 1.0. Yeah, I said it in the video and then completely forgot. My fault. Anyways, uh, real pain in the ass, but whatever. And uh, I forgot to mention why I'm killing these dragons. They drop a mask. A barred rogue only mask that I want. Badly. Hopefully one of them will have it. All four of them can drop it. No mask. No mask. So the first one of the four didn't have the mask, sadly. The mask is actually a really rare drop. They, uh, they don't drop it often. People have gone through cycles of killing all four of them at a time and killed you know, done them ten times over, killing all of them, and uh, still not gotten the mask, so. And these guys spawn, these dragons only spawn once every three days in real life. So every 72 hours, they respawn. And uh, other people obviously want to kill them other than just me. <laughs> so every three days, everyone on this entire server has one chance to kill these guys. So yeah, it's, it's really hard to get this mask, is what I'm trying to say. She's completely ignoring the servitor. There we go. I think she was still looking at the loot, is what it was. Oh, come on, zoom in. I'm gonna look at the loot again too, I'm just curious. That's some nice stuff. Link. Uh, ancient prismatic stiletto. Did it drop two of those? I'm gonna take one of those, because I can actually use it. Dowel of something. I can't use that. Ethereal gold dragon essence. I don't even know what that is for. Primal gold dragon fang. I don't even know what that is for. <laughs> Lungy of the forbidden. Oh, it's a haste robe. Back in the day, monks and beasts used to use robes. Don't ask me why Varent did that, but whatever. A ranged item. A shield for healers. Interesting. Don't know. I took one of the daggers. Let me look up what the two quest items are for. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video for a sec so I can tab out and see what these quest items are for. I'll be right back. Oh, son of a bastard! Okay, I'm an idiot. I, uh... Okay. Wow. Okay, I tabbed out... to, uh... <laughs> to look up the quest items on this guy. To look, Not that. Although, give me that gem. I don't want that. Get out of my face. I tabbed out to look up this right here... And this right here, to see what they do for, uh, for Lorenix. She wanted to know what it did. Uh, if she could use it for another, one of her characters or whatever. Anyways, I tabbed out, I looked them up. They're both crap. They're both useless, basically. I'm gonna go ahead and loot this crap just for the hell of it. Because she doesn't want any of it. But, uh, so I came back in. She had already started on the second dragon, down here. Which is now dead and looted. I came back in, uh, I walked over there, and it was already at, like, 1% health by the time I got there. It was already dead. So, uh, my first thought was, oh, it's dead. Did it drop the mask? You know, my, my first thought wasn't, turn the video back on, dumbass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, uh, I, uh, she looted it first, because I showed up, you know, right as it died. And she's like, oh, I think this is what you're looking for, and, and it had the mask on it. So, yeah, I have my mask from the Ancients. Uh, very rare drop. I got lucky as hell, basically. Which is awesome. I'm extremely happy. I'm actually a dwarf right now, as you can see. That's what the mask does. It lets you change your, uh, your graphic. It's called an illusion. Very rare drop. I got lucky as hell to get it on my first run of the Ancients. Very happy. Can I even use this one? I don't even think I can... I can't even use that one. Oh, well. But yeah, awesome. I wish I had it on camera. I'm a dumbass. Yeah, yeah. 
I came back over to this spot right here. She was already fighting the dragon while I was looking up those quest items. Right when I got there, it died. And my first thought was, you know, does it have the mask? The mask is right here, by the way. Does it have the mask on it? Not turn the, the fucking video back on. So, my bad. You completely missed me looting the mask. But, yeah, it was there. I got the mask. This is it. Which is awesome. It's always nice to go camp something and it actually drop what you're looking for. <laughs> I mean, these things, like I said, they they spawn once every 72 hours in real life. And they're highly camped. Other people come here trying to kill them. Usually for the mask, but sometimes just for the hell of it, just to see if they can. So, just finding them up was a pain in the ass. Because uh, I camped my monk right down there where that little sphere is. And then every once in a while, let's say, every 6 hours or so, when I'm awake, I'll just pop the monk on and see if they're up. I brought them on probably... I want to say four hours ago, and they were up, I uh, shot Lurinix to tell, and I was like, uh, you know, there's some dragons up, do you want to kill them? And I think at that point she was AFK, so I brought my bard over here, did everything I told you about earlier, tried to solo him, didn't work out. Lurinix came back from AFK, and she's like, yeah, let's, you know, I'll, I'll help you go kill the dragons. And, uh, second fucking ancient kill, I get the fucking mask. <laughs> fucking awesome. Liking it. What loot is on this one seems to be hoarding and guarding <laughs> this one seems to be dying slower I don't know why oh it's putting something on us typhoon breath I'll bet you this is a slow that's why I'm swinging so fucking slow okay I think he is casting a slow on us that's why Yeah, it, because look at my swing rate. I mean, that giant gap right there, I'm not swinging right now because we're slowed. Normally, I'm just constantly swinging my swords. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah, see, her haste right now is at 50%. Her normal haste is like 250%. So, you see a huge difference there. That's why we're swinging so slow. This right here has to have a slow component attached to it. Typhoon's Breath. I could technically remove it, but uh, to do it, I'll have to cast Dispel, and the way Dispel works in this game is it removes anything on you. So it'll remove her positive buffs until it eventually gets to the slow, then it'll remove the slow. So, let's see what other buffs she has. Uh, okay, she has a Potion Haste buff, she has the, the, the Armor buff from the Cleric, the Health buff from the Cleric, uh, she has a poison proc potion buff up. Every once in a while she'll poison the enemy because of that proc. She has Solo's Accelerating Chorus. I don't even know why I'm playing that. I'm a moron. That's another reason why we're so slow. My fucking haste wasn't on. Uh, rambling about the mask and I'm failing as a bard. I didn't have my songs on. That is fail. She has my epic proc on and she has... What is that? Oh, the name's not coming up for some reason. Whatever. Anyways, yeah, I didn't have my songs on, so that's another reason her haste was so slow. But yeah, it's still slow. I'm still swinging slow. Let's see what my haste is at right now. Yeah, my haste is still at 50%, even with my songs going. Wow. That means hers is probably at 100% or something like that. She's got more uh, built-in haste than I do into her items. It'd be hilarious if we got another mask with how rare they are. I mean, it's useless to me. Not only is I, I'm pretty sure it's lore, but there'd be no point in having two of them. Yeah, it's lore. Lore means you can't have two of them in your inventory. But uh, there's no point in having another one, even if there was two of them. But it would be it'd be funny if if another one dropped, just because of how rare they are. And dead. Yeah. It's it's gonna be hilarious. If there's another mask. I'm gonna I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Seriously, I highly doubt it, but you know it is possible. That's another thing. Uh, you can see through mobs, big mobs like this, like this dragon, if you walk into them. It's really weird like that. I don't know why the graphics work like that. When you're inside the mob itself, the uh, 
the skin of the mob disappears basically. See this part right here just disappears because I'm standing in front of or inside him. Nope, no mask. A prismatic axe. That's pretty much for tanks. I don't know what that looks like. Oh wow, that looks terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is two-handed. It looks like a one-handed axe. Wow, that looks terrible. Yeah, what is this? Boots of the Ancients. That's terrible. Uh, it looks like a monk hand-to-hand -hand item. What does it look like? I'm curious. Oh, it's got that glowing red circle look. It's actually stuck in my hand right now. That's why you can't see it very well. But, yeah. Looks terrible. Opalescent Black Dragon Scale. That's the quest item again. That's just a, a caster staff. One of those dropped on the first ancient that we killed. Nothing special. What was the spell? Call of the Predator? It's just a ranger spell. I'm gonna give the, uh, where did she go? Oh, she's right here. Whenever she gets done, I'm gonna give her this spell. She didn't loot it a minute ago, but... Yeah, I've been letting her loot everything on the way down here. This place is ridiculous with gems. Gems are what you usually sell to get good money. So, uh, I let her get all the gems on the way down here. Because she's the one helping me, basically. That was like payment for her to help me out. <laughs> she didn't ask for it or anything, but yeah. Out of all the gems on the way down, yeah, probably about 20. Yep, one more. Uh, yeah, there's tons of spell drops and tons of gem drops in this zone right here. This, the spells sell for about 10 to 20, and the gems sell for about, let's say, 80 to 500 plat. So it's pretty good drops. Doesn't look like this one slows. It looks like he has an area. Yeah, he has an area breath. That's what that was right there. That he spit out. He's got a breath weapon. You don't have to die, just hand over the loot. <laughs> Looks like two spells. A Necro Fane Death spell. And a Wizard Nuke. Wizard Ice Nuke. Eye of something. A range slot item. Is that it? Range slot item, a a mace. I'm going to take the mace for the hell of it. I can actually equip it, so I'm going to take it. See what it looks like, all that kind of crap. I got too much stuff in my inventory. Uh, ethereal silver dragon heart. I don't know what that's for, actually. Prismatic claymore. It's too many claymore. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, it looks like the, the long sword of Yakisha, or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, some terrible boots, a terrible cloak, a terrible shield, and some quest items. I'm going to see what this heart is for. I'm going to see what this heart, this heart is for. One sec. Ethereal Silver Dragon Heart. Okay, the heart is for a cleric, druid, shaman, necklace... That is crappy. So yeah, that was the Ancients. We killed all four of them. Mainly Lurinex killed them. I was just kind of here. I mean, I added haste to her and stats and stuff, but she did the killing. I didn't do much. Anyways, that was that was the Ancients of Kirifim's Lair. Let's see if I'm saying it right. Uh, oh yeah, they call it Sleeper Tomb on the Zone Info. It's also known as Sleeper's Tomb, because Kirifim was the sleeper. It was a dragon that was supposed to be asleep for centuries, and then when you come wake it up, it kicks your ass, basically. Uh, for the end of the video, I thought I'd just show off... Where did it go? Where is my bags? That is the wrong bag. That is also the wrong... Where the hell is the bag? There we go. I thought I'd show this off. Uh... Just put it on your mask slot, right click it, and I go from half elf to dwarf, eventually.
That's what the blue sparklies are. There we go. And now I'm a dwarf. A blue dwarf. That's what the item does. Uh, for the hell of it, I'm going to show off some of the other ones. A lot of these are really easy to get, so they're pretty common. I need to remove this illusion first. There we go. This one's going to let me turn into a erudite. Or I guess it's erudite. I guess that's how you say it. They have really cool plate mail, but their helmet is just stupid looking. I mean, what is that? What is that supposed to be? My god. I have no idea. Anyways. Uh, let's see. This one is Ixar, I think. This is basically what the illusion items do. They're just fluff. They just they let you do something fun every once in a while if you want to look like someone else. There's not really any purpose to them. Uh, this one's Dark Elf. Uh, this one right here goes in the head slot, and it turns me into a wood elf. This one was a pain in the ass to get. This one wasn't a rare drop. It was just uh, a long-ass quest chain with some semi-rare drops sprinkled throughout. It was a very irritating quest chain to do. Not necessarily hard, just you know, tried my patience. But worth it, because wood elves are awesome, obviously. And then the last one I have is D-Swan. This one is not a race. This is a monster. Pretty much anyone can do this one. I mean, anyone who has the uh, the werewolf buff item or anyone who who gets a fucking chanter illusion, any of that stuff. But yeah, see, it turns you into a werewolf. A big, ugly bastard, basically. 